Betsy Jackson, also known as the spiritual cheerleader, coming to you with the last card of the week of 2018. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so I I initially had another card deck I was gonna pull from. Um, I was gonna pull from Rebecca Campbell's uh, Work Your Light Oracle, and then like this deck called out to me. Um, before I started choosing. Um, and as you can see, it's kind of late uh, here, which is why I have the overhead light and you can see reflection because um, I don't have outside light. But um, the card that I pulled for us is amazing. Um, it is from the Crystal Mandala Oracle by Alana Fairchild. Um, many of you might know that I completed um, the Soul Guidance and Sacred Mentoring Training with Alana this year. Um, and so over the course of uh, this entire year, I have gotten to know this, know this deck very, very well um, in uh, just inviting the, the host of each of the cards into... Um, my being and I actually had gotten this card at one point in time um, going through the the training and everything and seeing others of uh, the trainees that got this card as well um, I just I know it's 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 an amazing card so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what the card is the card is a grace for the Grand Gesture with Archangel Raphael and Malachite, Malachite, the Crystal Angel of Malachite is um, the angel that is related to this. And if you have Malachite um, with you, you can totally, uh, you know, play with it um, because that's the energy of it. I was, I, I meant to have my malachite over here for you guys so you could see it. Um, <laughs> that's one of the few crystals that I do have, um, that's referenced in the crystal angel, um, mandala or crystal mandala oracle guidebook. Um, but this card really symbolizes this idea that, um, we are given grace for taking kind of our leap of faith. Um, obviously this being the last, you know, uh, Sunday of 2018, getting very close to the last day of 2018, um, many of us are, might be contemplating, you know, um, taking a leap or taking a risk, doing something different in 2019. And this card is basically giving us the thumbs up, um, and encouraging us forward and telling us that, um, we will be given grace for the grand gesture that we we wish to take it's literally telling us that um you know we might have been you know saying like oh i'll take this baby step or i'll take this big you know take this you know small step out of my comfort zone but really we are being given the green light to take the big the big jump right um to do the thing that we might be kind of fearful of doing um but we know in our hearts like we feel like we've been guided and and been told to do it um it's not something that you feel necessarily uncertain about you might have some kind of trepidation um in doing it just because of things that have happened in the past i know for me personally i've been having these struggles of like putting myself out there because of this fact that i'm like ah uh, you know but what about last time what happened you know what what happened last time might happen this time and like spirit has been constantly on me like don't worry about that. Like, you just need to get this out there. You need to do this. It's going to be different this time. How, and, and you're saying to yourself, how is it going to be different? And this card answers that. It basically says you're different this time. You um, basically have grown. You have gotten all these things under your belt that you didn't have when you tried to do this thing before. So now is the time. Now is the um, is the auspicious time when all the elements and all the the timing has come to being to be completely right for you to step out there 
and make this grand gesture, um, to take this risk, to take this leap of faith. And I wanted to share with you um, one of the uh, integrations of the guidance um, from this card so that you guys could say it. But let me let me just read you um, a little bit from the, the beginning of this so that you you kind of get the sense of this card. It says, we bring you the gift of grace for the grand gesture. Although there are times when even the smallest act, such as choosing to think a positive thought is enough to transform your world, there also comes a time for the leap of faith, the grand gesture of unconditional trust that will free you from your past and empower the universe to gift you with the new future. The grand gesture is the big step, the willingness to say to the universe, I trust you and I know it is time for life as I have known it to give way for a bigger, bolder experience and I'm willing to allow you to lead me into it. You then make an offering, which confirms your declaration and empowers the universe to reward the faith you have demonstrated. The grand gesture cannot be forced. If it comes from a place of should or uncertainty, then you're not ready. The grand gesture must be unconditional. It must be something you offer, not for what you can get in return, but because you are willing to offer something of yourself in service to love. And it says the rewards will be rich, right? So when it comes from this place, the grand gesture is a trigger for divine grace to express itself in your life in an entirely new way, surpassing all expectations and showering you with blessings. Uh, who doesn't want to be showered with blessings? I know, I do, right? So to integrate this guidance um, deeper, uh, this uh, guidebook gives, it's really, really deep and interesting. So it gives a healing process to integrate the guidance and then to further integrate the guidance, it gives you um, kind of a prayer that you can say. And um, I'm going to just repeat it a little bit slowly, kind of imagining you following my lead on, on repeating it um, because I want this guidance to integrate for you before we go into 2019. So I choose of my own free will to make a grand gesture in grace. I trust you universe and I love you. I am willing to place my faith in love and to know that what it is, that what is, I'm sorry, in my heart is destined for me. Bless me with the ability to recognize the right timing and the right action according to divine perfection through divine grace and unconditional love, so be it. All right. Well, that's your guidance for the week. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful New Year's Eve and a wonderful new year. And when I see you again, we'll be in 2019. Have a great one. <laughs>